Hi everyone, welcome to The Great Outdoor Show. I'm your host, Bob Ide. We're in Clark Summit this week at Sickler's Bike and Sports Shop where they offer great bikes, e-bikes, equipment, accessories, and maintenance here for all the bike needs you have. Make sure you see the boys up here at Sickler's Bike and Sports Shop in Clark Summit. We'll have a great segment from them later on in this week's show. We want to thank our sponsors, including Sickler's Bike and Sports Shop, Blaze Alexander Family Dealership, Joe's Equipment and Supply, and North American Warhorse. Time to get this show started. Welcome back to The Great Outdoors. We're at Sickler's Bike and Sports Shop in Clark Summit. Phil Cable joins us once again. And Phil, what are the trends we're seeing right now? People are getting back into biking? Absolutely. Uh, we've had, you know, obviously kids' bikes are a big thing. Um, we're finding that a lot of folks are coming in and buying kids' bikes that are taking them out on, say, the rails trail systems that are growing all over the, all over the state. And getting a quality youth bike makes the child have a better time out trying to keep up with mom and dad. So we've seen that trend coming back into the bike shops versus uh, the department store bikes for the children. With adult cycling, there's a bunch of segments, right? There's mountain biking. There, that's mostly done in some of the parks that have mountain bike trails built up in them. Uh, we're seeing the, the rides on rails trail systems. It's letting people get off of pavement and away from cars. Gravel riding and road riding have also come back up. We've seen a lot of folks getting back into that because that lets you uh, explore further, uh, get out of, out of town further, extend your riding. It's something you can work toward uh, more miles and more climbs and things like that. Well, when the mature rider gets back into it, maybe like myself or somebody hasn't done it in a long time, an e-bike is a good start, right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So the e-bike segment has, has blown up. We've had uh, people getting on bikes for the first time, but also a lot of folks like ourselves and maybe even more mature than you and I, uh, deciding they want to get back out and enjoy bike riding. It's, it's just, there's, it does so much for you. It's good for you physically. It's great for your knees, your hips, uh, good for your heart, obviously. A lot of doctors are prescribing it for almost everything from mental to physical uh, rehabilitation. And this particular style, this is our Cannondale Adventure Neo. And if you look at the frame, it's a step through frame. It's not a, necessarily a women's bike. They only make it this way with a step through. And it's become very popular as our hips get tighter. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes it a lot easier to get on and off of the bike. Something else you'll notice is lower seat, taller handlebars. It lets you sit upright with a better posture and uh, take in nature, take in the scenery and enjoy the ride. And a lot of folks say it's think it might be cheating. No, not at all. You still have to put the power into the pedals. It's just going to add some additional to it. And you have the ability to adjust with just a little bit of help, or if you're hitting a big hill, you might bump it up for more help up the big hill. Um, the way it works on this particular bike, this is called a mid-drive system, and the motor's up here. If you notice, it's bigger here. Here's your battery. Mm -hmm. Very intuitive. Um, the bike doesn't want to jump away from you or anything. It, it's just as you push on it, it gives a little extra. Well, Phil, not everyone lives near a rail trail or trail head, so you have to get it there with your car or your truck or whatever, and you have the hitches here at uh, Sickler's Bike and Sports Shop to get you there, right? Yeah, so we carry racks from uh, Kuat, from Saris, and also from Thule. So those are our three primary brands. Uh, Kuat, this is what we're showing you here. This is Kuat's Envy rack. This is their, their top of the line. What's special about these racks is that they're simple to use. They'll carry the weight. They're expand some of them are expandable. Just to give you a show, it's as simple as taking this, this shepherd's hook down out of the way, releasing a back strap, and your bike comes right off. Um, this particular rack also has an adapter for a ramp. So if you have a heavier bike and perhaps you're not as strong as you used to be, uh, you're able to ride up the ramp and ride the bike straight up into the rack, such as this. Hold it there, put this hook up, just drop it down on the front end, boom, secure, strap through the wheel, and you're done, just like that. You're so ready, you're ready so to hit the trail. one person could do it. One person can do it by themselves, get to the trail, unload the bike, be off and enjoying a nice ride on the rails trail systems. Well, Phil, how can people find out more about Sickler's Bike and Sports Shop and maybe some rides they offer? All right, so Sickler's is uh, located at 298 Noble Road. We're right below the high school in Clark Summit. 
And uh, you can find out more about what's going on in the shop on our Facebook page, which is Sickler's Bike and Sport Shop. Um, also, we want to invite you to come ride with us. We have three different rides that we put on. In fact, Thursday nights at 5.30, we generally have a gravel ride, weather permitting. The rides leave from our parking lot here. They're about 15 to 20 miles and um, we come back and sometimes we hang out afterwards and use our, our nice patio and our nice little dining area in here and, uh, and enjoy some fellowship and friendship together. Uh, we also have a Friday ride. It's a lunch ride. That's kind of our start your weekend out right ride. Um, that's a road or gravel bike ride. We head out into Newton, which is a beautiful area, not too much traffic, but it's all on pavement. And then on Saturdays, we tend to have a, uh, a road ride that goes out, that's, I call that like a B level, a little higher level ride, and uh, that ride will go from 35 to 50 miles throughout the, the summer. Yeah. And all that you can find on the Facebook page? All of that's on Facebook. We try to keep you up to date if it's happening, if it's getting rained out, um, but we definitely invite you to come out and enjoy riding with us. Next on The Great Outdoors, we look at side-by-sides at North American War Horse. The Great Outdoors is sponsored by Sickler's Bike and Sports Shop, North American War Horse, Joe's Equipment and Supply, and by Blaze Alexander Family Dealerships.